Tom. <laughs> Make sure you put exclamation, please. There was, I believe, an Australian man who had an, um, an injury that kind of took away some of his Abilities. mobility of his hands. I think he lost a few fingers. Mm -hmm. And after looking for prosthetics, he realized they were too expensive, so he developed this. a variation of this and then this mm -hmm. and put the blueprints out for the public to use. Mm -hmm. I had looked into 3D printers before this came up, so I kind of knew the basic gist of how it all worked. So when I realized that the file was just something I needed to plug into a 3D printer and print out with a few modifications, it was just kind of cut and dry at that point. I move my wrist right here, like this, up and down, up and down. It changes the questions from what happened to your hand to, Different. wow, that's a cool hand. Exactly. And, and there's a different attitude yeah. when that's the when that's the question. You basically just down, you can download a file from their website, uh, Thingiverse, and essentially just print out anything people have molded in a program and then given the file out. So this was just a file with numbers. You could print out dice, you could print out little video game characters, figurines. Um, we used the um, Johnson County uh, Resource Library, but it was free to use. So we just brought them the file, said, hey, can we print this out? They said, sure. They printed it out for us, and then we took it home and assembled it. Um, MakerBot has a program called MakerWare, which you can open and somewhat edit the files. So I took the original file, um, imported it into that program, looked at it, realized that it had, I think, a four or five inch gap in between this area, and his hand was only three. So I downscaled it, made sure all the fingers were still a good length, um, and that was a little bit of, not necessarily coding, but maneuvering around the program to make it fit his hand specifically. And the nice thing about that is, if he outgrows this one, we can just print out a bigger one. Yeah. So, how about we call this the Hand X2? <laughs> He's always been self-confident, but it's made him um, more at ease with it, with it, I think. So, it's been a blessing. Mm -hmm. Like this. Probably.